Hi friends, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. Um, I have a new, pretty simple um, goodie bag project, um, gift bag you could say, uh, using the Snail Dit stamp set and the Snail Dies along with the Snail Mail designer series paper. I just had iced tea spilled all over my workspace. <laughs> so if you see little dots here and there, I thought I cleaned it all up, but it got some of my Whisper White paper, which I wasn't too happy about. And my my list is now all tea dyed. <laughs> so it's been a crazy week. Lots of things, hard and good. <laughs> um, but getting through it. That's why I had a little bit of a weird schedule last week. I, I think I didn't get my last, my Friday video up until Saturday night, and I apologize for that. Um, okay, so I used uh, the designer series paper for the little snail because we colored the mushroom, so I figured I would do one or the other so that it wouldn't be too long. Um, so the snails from the designer series paper, I just cut that with the dies. I stamped the mushrooms here and I cut out this like postage stamp looking um, square from the same snail dies. All right, I also used the banners pick a punch and some pool party ribbon. And it really goes together really quickly. In this one I put just some little trinkets from the Easter section of Walmart. It's a little ring that has bubbles and a little kaleidoscope. But this is pretty big on the inside. It can fit a lot of little goodies or candies. Um, it is four and a quarter by three and a quarter by one and three quarters. So it's it's it'll hold a bunch of stuff. So we're gonna start with a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock that is 11 inches by 6. Now you can make one of these from a piece of 11, and a, 11 by 8 and a half cardstock, or you can make two if you make the goodie bag out of the 12 by 12 paper. You can get two out of them. Alrighty, if you just want it all the same 12 by 12 paper color instead of the cardstock. Alrighty, so let me get my Simply Scored. And we're going to get my tool and we're going to score on the 11 inch side first, which means the 11 inch side at the top of the score, simply scored. And we're going to score at one half, at four, at four and seven eighths, five and three quarters, nine and a quarter, and ten and one eighth. Alrighty, then we're going to turn it to the six inch side and we're going to score it at one and three quarters. And that's it. Alrighty, now I'm going to fold and burnish. So this week I had had an accident last summer and I got, I had some hearing loss from it. So I got my hearing aids this weekend. I mean, I can get by, but it's much better this week, uh, last week now. Um, and my husband had a detached retina two summers ago. So now he needs to get his cataract surgery done. So all this was in one week. Oh, I'm not stamping yet, sorry. And my daughter, my oldest daughter got engaged yesterday. So that was the really happy thing that happened this week. So I'm a little bit off. Okay. So what we have, I scored, I burnished everything, but the lines that are in the middle of, like you have a, a skinny section here, a half inch, and you have the big section, and then you have these two skinny rectangles here. I didn't burnish this one because it's going to be, just what does this in the middle of the box. Um, if you did, it's no big deal. If you do it, it's no big deal. But I didn't burnish this one. Don't burnish them because they're going to actually fold in the other direction. All right. But if you do, it's okay. They'll just fold back. All right. And this is what we want to do. 
Alrighty, so all we're going to do, the top is just going to stay open and we're going to clip it. We're going to take off this skinny rectangle and then separate the rectangles and the squares and wedge the squares. So I want you to put it so that the, the outside is facing you, okay? And the long skinny rectangle is on your left. I'm going to take the bottom rectangle on the skinny rectangle and cut the side of this rectangle straight and just wedge above that piece. I didn't cut that long enough. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And then we're gonna follow this rectangle and cut the other side of it straight. These two, we're, gonna, we're going to consider being one square, okay? So we're gonna go to the other rectangle, cut that straight, and then we're going to wedge these two rectangles together just like they were a square. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Alrighty, so then we're going to go to the other side of this rectangle and cut that straight. And then we're going to treat this, these two as one square and we're going to wedge it. Alrighty. Okay, now we just need some tear and tape and we're going to put it on the skinny rectangle as close to the score line as you can get it without hitting it. Okay, and I'm going to fold it over and fold the other side to meet it. Okay, and then that's going to be our back. Okay, since this is our back flap. What we want to do is put our tearing tape on the inside of the front flap, which would just automatically be the other one <laughs> that's not the, the back. And I just didn't cut this one straight, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so if you see, make it easier for you to see here. This is the back, so this is our back flap. Okay, we're going to put the side ones in and the back, this is the one that needs the tear and tape. And I'm going to put two pieces, one all the way at the edge, which is the most important one, and then one inside in case anything that's in there gets heavy. I can see I missed just a tiny bit of cardstock, so I just snipped it off. Alrighty, so that's our back. So we will put in another bubble. So I'm just gonna make sure, I might even put this in a little plastic bag because I don't want it to leak out just in case, but it's good for right now. So I'm just gonna pick out one of the little kaleidoscopes and put the ring in. I would probably put a few little bits of candy inside. And then push with our fingers and squeeze with our thumb. Push with your, your middle finger and push with your thumb and your pointer. And that, the, whatever's inside will decide how far it's going to go inside, okay? So that's that part. Now we have a piece of designer series paper that is four inches by three and one quarter. And we're going to put that down right on the front. I'm going to use some stamp and seal. And you could also do all this decorating before you actually put the box together if you wanted to. Okay. Now I cut using the dies a piece of pool party ribbon, a uh, pool party cardstock, and that is going to go right in right there. Okay, and I used some liquid glue for that. Okay, and I put it. 
I would say about three quarters of an inch up from the bottom from the yellow peat bottom of it. I'm stick it on, make sure it's straight, and then I'll really press it. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna leave these out for now. Alrighty, now we have some stamping to do. So here's my Whisper White, but you can see my tea spilled on, so I'm gonna work right down here. And we wanna stamp the mushrooms. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black. And there we go. And then I automatically, I cut out with the die, the mushroom image and the snail from the designer series paper. There's a whole sheet of all the different snails and I cut that one out. And this one is nice and dry so we can color it. Alrighty, so this one's all colored and I believe this is Blushing Bride, this is Daffodil Delight, and that's Pool Party on there. So if you wanted to color it. Okay, I'm gonna use these here, okay, for this one too. For the main, let's work on the main uh, mushroom. And for the spots, I don't have Blushing Bride. I'm gonna have to order that, but I have Light Flirty Flamingo. So I'm gonna do the little spots with that. And underneath of the mushroom. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the mushroom with Dark Real Red. The, the top, most of it. Okay, and for this stem on all three mushrooms, I'm using light smoky slate. You could use um, crumb cake too, that would be cool. And for the other mushrooms, I'm going to use um, Dark Daffodil Delight for the tops and Light for underneath the mushrooms. These would also look cute in Pool Party too. Or well, one of them in Pool Party and one of them in Daffodil Delight. That would look cool. Or Bermuda Bay maybe. And then I'm just gonna do underneath the underneath part with the light. Okay, and then I used light mossy metal for the leaves and a, the little bit of the grass that's here. Okay, and that's it for the coloring. Alrighty, now. Now, if you notice on this one, I used white for the background. I thought that it would look better in Pool Party, so I changed that. All right, so what I did first is I kind of put the snail right down in the middle with liquid glue. I let the present stick up a little bit on the top. Okay, and then for the snail, um, not the snail, the mushrooms, I use dimensionals. And then I use two minis for the um, top mushrooms here. Well, top mushroom and then this, this little swirl. A 
and I just put that coming off the side of the box just a tiny bit and I wanted a little bit of the Bermuda Bay on the bottom to show also. Alrighty. Okay, now we need to do the sentiment. And I have a long strip of basic white that is about, it's only a little, it's, it's a, in between three quarters and seven eighths. So whatever you feel comfortable doing. And I have the sentiment, you snailed it. My, my twins are seniors in high school right now and they're having a, a little adopt a senior page to give little gifts and recognition to eat to the parents, give it to different teens. So I was thinking of putting a little gift card in here. All right, so I'm gonna just, oh, perfect, stamp it right on that. And then you can see I have like a little cut mark. So I'm just going to, the paper goes up if it's on the other side. I don't know if that happens to you. I'm going to use the banners pick a punch and on this side I'm going to use the pointy side. I don't know if there is a name for the pointy side. If you know it, let me know. Yeah, that's good because we want it to come down a little bit. Eh, maybe one more little bit. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then on the other side I'm just going to cut it off like this because we want to flag it. Oh, I shouldn't. Well, I had to cut it off, right? Because then it wouldn't reach. It has to be on the other side. Okay, and this one we want to flag. So I'm going to put that in the flag side. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and just give it a little tiny bit of a curl. And now I can put my little treats back in. And we need a clever clasp. It's a gold one. Just going to clip the middle just like that okay and stick the sentiment just underneath and then we're going to use the pool party ribbon I'm just going to tie a bow and since it's sheer I'm not worrying too much about it covering the sentiment and I'm going to take a Blue dot. And I'm going to put it right on the knot on the back. And I'm just going to attach it to the middle part of the clever clasp. And you can move your sentiment down if you want to. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you all for helping me reach a thousand subscribers. And if you would like to buy any of these products, you can buy them through me at the address at the top of the screen, Katherine Tiemann, Dutch Stampin' Up.net. I will see you next time. Bye.